I'm Ingrid Hoffman, and today we're going to be making drunken fajitas. So first, let's get started with some herbs, cilantro. If you don't have fresh cilantro, by all means, you can use bottled. Now we're going to go for a little bit of brown sugar. As you see, the quantities are minimal. Brown sugar, a little bit of pepper, orange zest. That's going to pack a ton of flavor. Fresh garlic. Now you know that that packs a lot of flavor. We're going to do some red wine vinegar. If you just have white, white vinegar, by all means. A little bit of OJ, a little bit of lime or lemon, both work. And here comes my secret ingredient, my beloved Cholula. I'm using the original, it packs a lot of flavor. Secret ingredient number two, tequila. Now don't worry, this is a family friendly recipe. The kids are not gonna get drunk because you're gonna really just let it marinate. We mix this up. Now we're gonna pour this delicious marinade and it'll burn off once we grill it as well, the alcohol. So never be afraid of marinating with a little bit of alcohol. You can marinate as long as you like. I sometimes leave it overnight. Sometimes two hours is fine, an hour is fine. So our marinade has been about two hours. Now we're going to pat it dry a little bit. We want to remove all the excess liquid so that we don't smoke up the house. First of all, the secret to the great steak is we did not salt the marinade. We're salting it now. We're going to put it on a really hot grill pan, like so. Looks like our veggies and meat are ready to go. It smells so good. <laughs> beautiful colors, beautiful flavor. We imparted all the layers of flavors with our wonderful marinade. I think that this should be plenty for this fajita. Beautiful, charred veggies. A little bit of cilantro. We're gonna do some avocado slices. A little bit of salt. Now we're gonna squeeze some lime. And for more of these wonderful recipes, you can go to foxnewsmagazine.com. Ciao, ciao.